Folks, in the first Star Wars, I mean the, the one that was released first, uh, episode four, yeah. The Death Star blew up. But then in a later episode, I'm thinking like Empire Strikes Back, I believe, or maybe the next one. You feel free to get at me in the comments about how bad my Star Wars knowledge is. In any case, the Death Star is being rebuilt. And at some point, one of these fine folks who is, you know, working on the Death Star uh, says something to the effect of, the Death Star is nearly operational. So why am I talking about that? Because this is your first view of the Renaissance periodization training facility. Uh-oh. And it's nearly operational, which means we're waiting in like one piece of equipment. And really it's almost, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The Death Star, if the laser thing fires and blows up planets, that's all we need. And right now we have enough equipment to fire the laser. So welcome. And uh, I'm gonna do a workout, calves, chest, triceps, four total exercises. This is my regular training. I'm getting ready for a show, fat loss phase. I'm a little tired, a little hungry, and a little low on energy, but training quality has to be training quality. So let's get into it with some calf work. Leg press calves. Why leg press? It's just another way to load your calves. Um, takes the axial loading out, doesn't load the spine. So it's just through the hips and through the calves. Uh, notice this little thing, this little guy, little calf area for the arsenal strength leg press. Um, you know how when people get, uh, when they get rich enough, they're like, you know, nothing touches this body except design of fibers and silk. I'm like that, but I'm not rich, but I got this gym and the designer fibers and silk is Arsenal Strength, baby. Now we do have a few other machines from some great companies. Arsenal Strength, I can't say enough good things about them. They don't pay me. I'm not a sponsored athlete. I just love their shit, you know? Can a motherfucker just say he loves something? What is it with 2021, you feel me? Let's do caps. <laughs> Fuck. Calves hurt a lot. Ow. <sighs> Is my makeup running? 10 seconds break between each of these sets. Four sets today. My microcycle number one, so first week of the mezzo. Um, only 10 seconds break because all the lactate pretty much clears after and good to go to another productive set. Remember, a productive set is one in which you're not limited by anything else other than the muscle and you can do more than five reps. So I just did 20, then 10, then six. I'm telling you when I drop off is that high. We'll do another one, hopefully another six reps or so, and we'll call it. Oi, he's veiny. You're so vain. We saw chakra energy, incline, Smith machine, press time. Smith machine, incline. Normal grip, maybe slightly wide. Target is the chest, upper chest, of course, front delts and triceps get some work. Why Smith Machine? Just another tool that works really well. Uh, barbells, free weights are super awesome. I built the majority of my size using it, but you can throw in the Smith Machine, it's totally great. Um, and let's see, how the fuck did a fly get in here? Two sets today only on this exercise. Later I have another chest exercise with another two sets. These gives me four total working sets for this session. Why so low? Two reasons. One, it's the first microcycle of the mezzo which means I just deloaded. I'm really sensitive to volume. If I do any more, I'll get super sore, won't heal on time for the next workout. 
Second is my chest seems to be high percentage fast twitch fibers. It gets really big and strong really fast. It does not tolerate volume hardly at all. And compound movements primarily, but generally heavier in the five to 15 rep range is where my chest grows the best and with very low volume. So if I did more volume, one of two things would happen. I would get excessively sore and then potentially hurt, which I've done a bunch, or I would just get really tired and my chest would look flatter rather than more pumped at the end of the workout. So don't copy the volume recommendations. All the links in the description will uh, tell you about all the recommendations we have and you, you can go look them up. But this is what works for me and this is what's right for me at the time. So even though it's kind of silly to do two working sets, that's what we're doing. The best part about the incline press effect on your body is how many like chin skin folds you can have when you're doing this. Nine. All right, folks, incline pressing is done. And then now it's tricep extension time. So just standard tricep extensions. Don't worry too much about my particular technique. I have a couple interesting things. My lats and chest are too big for me to bring my arms in closer. You guys ever see top rows do the quote unquote ex extensions? They're like doing this kind of shit because they physically can't do it any better. So use good technique. We have technique video guides of Jared doing it all very pretty. I'm gonna try to do my best with technique and it's all standard technique, but I do have to make some adjustments to the fact that I'm not, not your average bear anymore, muscle size wise little humble brag there to start the video. In any case, three sets of 20, and the last two sets are gonna be mile reps. So I hit 20, very close to fail, probably uh, around there. Reps on the first set, rest a normal amount of time. The second set's also 20 reps, but I may fail or come close to failure at 15, take three or four seconds, and then do another five. Same thing on set number three. This allows me to jam in a ton of volume, lots of proximity to failure. Why? Why not just train conventional? For me, an isolation movement like the tricep extension has such a small amount of raw stimulus magnitude that I have to do like eight sets to get anything out of it or eight failure approaches. This way with my reps, do three sets and approach failure six or seven times within there or five or six times. And then I get a really good stimulus to fatigue ratio from that versus just waiting around and doing a bunch of straight sets. Similar idea to like the leg press. Once you're sitting there, might as well do some my reps. Same with this. <laughs> Oi. Oi.
we do the cambered bar, close grip-ish, medium grip bench. Last exercise, just two sets, because it really, really messes me up. We knew from earlier research and sort of theoretical exploration that tension applied at the very deep stretch of a muscle's natural range of motion uh, in actual context of the joints and everything is probably a bit more hypertrophic than training that doesn't do that. So we knew stretch under tension provided a lot of growth. Now a couple of recent studies show that that actually is really impressive growth. And in some contexts, perhaps many, actually better than full ROM. So like if you bench all the way down to here and you find some way to standardize going up, stopping here and going back down and stopping here may actually be superior stimulus to fatigue ratio wise than locking out. Don't take that to the bank yet. We need many more studies to confirm. But in any case, we already know it's very likely that deep stretch is really awesome. But check this out. Cambered bar, you can go so fucking deep. You'll be born to another life. I'm gonna go down as Mike Isertel and come back up as like some accountant named Phil who lives in Ohio. What the fuck am I even doing? That's how much growth this shit gets you. Let's get right into it. Last exercise of the day, two sets. Cambered bar bench, you're gonna lower slowly, take a nice pause, fully lock out. Let's get it done. <sighs> Ugh. 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 So, set a 12 at 185, and yeah, I've done a lot of pushing and tricep volume up to this, but the camera bar is humbling as fuck. The range of motion increase is crazy. One thing you notice, I didn't touch my chest on any of those reps. If you can, please do arch or track and get deep. I physically run out of room because I'm more muscular now and my back's big enough to where it stops me from going down. That's just a thing. Go as low as you can safely. Nice big stretch, nice pause and come back up. That's it. Let's do one more set. Set of 12, set of nine. Feeling pretty cooked, it's just week one. Gonna keep the cooking on a simmer level. Week two, week three, four. Everything gets tougher. I'm in the middle of a fat loss phase right now, or actually towards the end. Hopefully bodybuilding show soon. We'll see how it plays out, folks. Welcome to Renaissance Gym, I guess. And uh, you know, if you wanna take a shot at the title and come down here, sign the waiver and have Jared and I beat you up, let us know. See you next time. Woof, woof, woof. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, 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 hello.